Those are all excellent. Now, which of those things that do we don't do particularly well? Align structure and system. So let's talk about that one for just a moment. In fact, let me, let me grab that one real quick. OK, which other ones don't we do well? Anchored in the culture. Any others? Empower. Empower people. How many of you think those are probably the three, three areas that we have the biggest challenge in? So let's talk about aligning structure and system for just a moment. Everywhere I go now, people are talking about creating a culture of something. I mean, culture, when I wrote Results Rule back in 2006, 2007, very few people have been talking about culture in 15 or 20 years. Now, everybody wants a culture of something. Whether it's quality, safety, I always, I mean, that's your version, but everybody else wants something. Here's the deal about culture, and these two things go together. Culture begins with choice. Choice, the choices that we make. We're focused here on quality, on providing faithful, loving care, and on building that sense of patient satisfaction. Starts with a choice, because we know that choice influences action. By the way, we learned that in driver's ed, didn't we? Remember driver's ed? You grew up where I grew up. Driver's ed was taught by your ninth grade football coach. <laughs> Remember that guy had that shirt, those spray-on polyester shorts, that guy? <laughs> Told you to keep both hands on the wheel, 10 and 2 or 9 and 3, and look straight ahead. Because when you look to the right or the left, the car goes to the right or the left. Choice influences action. Works that way in relationships, too, doesn't it? How many of you either are or have been in a relationship with someone else at some point in your life? <laughs> See, I told you the questions got harder. Now, here's the real question. Was there ever a time, I mean, when you knew, you absolutely knew, the next time you saw that person, there's going to be a fight? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> because we know what to say, don't we? We know what not to say. We know what, how not to say it. Choice influences action. Action over time becomes habit. And the culture of an organization, habit defines your culture. This whole thing about culture is nothing more than the habits of the organization defined over time. Systems and structure create habit. If you, process is another word for that, okay? Process is another word for that. But that creates habit. And the habit is what defines the culture. And the culture ultimately defines us as an organization. See, the difference between you from a culture standpoint and any other organization that's out there, any of your competitors, whether they're down the street, across the street, out of the county, in the next state, wherever that might be, the difference is not your equipment. The difference is not that you're on Epic and they're not. The difference is not your process. The difference is not your focus on quality, because they all have about the same focus that you do. Anybody that you're competing with for the hearts and minds and souls of patients does about the same things that you do. The difference is the culture. The difference is the culture. It's the fact that your people get it. Your people live it. That's the difference. And so aligning the structure helps to anchor it in the culture. And when I look at change, and I spend my life helping organizations change for the most part, and the, the one thing that's the hardest for them to do is realize how long it takes to change the culture. Because they think, well, I'll have Randy come in and speak. And we'll change the culture. Folks, I'm pretty good. I ain't that good. None of us are. It takes two to three years to figure out how to get something into the culture. So we talk about creating a culture, whether it's a, a change in the culture, of adapting the culture. Realize this is going to take work. It's a 
a two to three year process. And if you're not engaged in it for two to three years, you're gonna have a hard time. It will become the thing that the cynics that you talked about in the survey wrote about, where, they, where people come in and say, well, you know, if I just wait long enough, they'll stop. They'll go on to something else because they always do.